Shalom Israel, and welcome to Hebrew Chronicles Publishing. On today's segment, we're going to be discussing outlines. What is an outline, and do I need one? The first thing we're going to talk about is what is an outline? An outline is a list of important detailed thoughts that you're going to be putting into your story. Now, some people write outlines differently. Some people make a, what is in the definition, a list of important detailed uh, information that they're going to be putting into their story. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know if anybody's ever played uh, any kind of card games. They have an instruction manual and they have important information on how to play the game same thing but some people write out their outline as a brief detailed information of their story meaning only important facts such as how the um story how their story is going to be built the uh world rules you know and different detailed information that is important to the writer but not necessarily important to the reader Meaning there's going to be certain amount of that information that you're going to be putting into the story. It's just only information that you need as a writer to keep your mind intact of what you're going to be writing about. So that's technically what an outline is. Now, me personally, uh, I don't write outlines. Now, I'm going to tell you why. So this is also going to the second part of the video. Do you need an outline? Yes, depending on what type of story you're making. If you're going to be creating your own world, if you're going to be creating a story that you, that's based upon your own world, meaning it doesn't actually have any, uh, it has different rules based upon uh, a different timeline. Like say for instance, if you're going to be talking about a story that's written in a time of the Roman Empire, you're going to actually have to have information that is detailed because you don't want to be inaccurate with your story because if people actually start reading about the history of the Roman Empire or have any information based upon the years of the Roman Empire and their imperial rule and the dates they're going to be like okay this story is inaccurate but they might make they might let it slide because it's fiction but you always want to actually uh, have that information if you're going to be basing it off a specific timeline okay now, do you need to have one if you're creating your own world? Yes. The reason why is because um, when you're creating your own world, you have to create rules for that world. So the reader will actually be able to make sense of what is to be and what is not to be. The things that could, the citizens or the military or whatever the story is can do and what they can't do. Because in every society there are rules. There is no government or no civilization without rules because rules bring civilization. You can't be civil without civil rules, right? And that's how we thrive as a nation. We have to have rules and our rules are in the Bible. But if you're gonna be creating your own world, you have to have, a, if you're gonna build a society, you have to have rules for that world. So it's good for you to have an outline so you won't forget those important things just in case certain events occur you can go back into your outline and be like okay this is going to happen based upon this you know now the reason why i don't actually make an outline is because this is my outline everything that is in here in the bible these are my rules for my world therefore i don't need an outline because if you read the bible that is the outline okay so when i create if I do start to make an outline, and sometimes I do, but the majority of the times I don't. The reason why I say I don't is because I don't need it. But I normally, I, I rarely, I'm going to say that, rarely use an outline. And the reason why I would write an outline, it will be very brief, probably one page. And that's why I don't really consider it an outline, because an outline is normally important information of your story. So it's going to be around three to four pages sometimes it can actually be up to 15 pages you know one page you know it's not really an outline it's kind of like a, a idealist <laughs> you know but and all in all it is can still can 
to be considered by a writer, um, a writer, an outline. The outline, the reason why I would make it is to create um, brief facts to keep my mind on the story itself because I see things like a movie, so I write what I see. And regardless of the fact, but if I write what I see, I can, my mind can go left, it can go right. So the little outline will be able to keep my mind on, you know, important facts like different tribes. Okay, which, this tribe come from what? This is Ham, Ham had the Canaanites, he had this, he had that. And I want to be able to be accurate on point because it's easy to misunderstand or misuse the, the Hamitic tribes because they all come from Ham. A lot of Israel can give a, be nice. We don't care too much about the lineage of Ham. Therefore, it's easy. It's easy if you don't study those things thoroughly to misplace the different names and the different tribes of these different nations. So that's that'll be the only reason why I would actually make an outline. So that's all I have for you today. Um, hopefully, I answer some of your questions. Make sure that you visit www.hebrewchronicles.com and check out the content we have available. And make sure that you donate to support the channel. Shalom, most high in Christ, please.